So could the New York Mets be signing Juan Soto this 2024-25 MLB free agency? Well, here on the screen is a tweet on Twitter or X from Mets Bad Flip 1, which says news. The New York Mets have the ambition, resources, and payroll flexibility to make the top offer to Juan Soto. There is an enormous amount of informed speculation going around that they are planning to do so per Andy Martino. So heading into the 2024 MLB free agency period, Juan Soto is arguably the best player available on the open market. Uh, he, of course, was traded away from the Padres last offseason to the Yankees, which seemed like a bit of a trial run for the Yankees. Perhaps they want to go ahead and sign, Soto to, uh, sign Juan Soto to a long-term uh, contract. That's definitely very possible at this point. With Juan Soto uh, entering the open market at this point, the bets are going to be the highest bidder. No other way to put it, right? Steve Cohen has the deepest checkbook in all of the MLB. Uh, there's been some speculation as well about the Dodgers potentially going after Juan Soto, so that could be a possibility as well. But uh, Juan Soto is going to be going after uh, a big-time pay raise this offseason season, perhaps a contract, I would even say potentially north of $600 million. It's not out of the question in my personal opinion, right? With Juan Soto only being around, I want to say 26 years old, this guy could easily sign like a 12 or a 13 year deal for like 55, $60 million per year, whatever the case may be. He's going to hit the absolute Brinks truck uh, when it comes to his next contract. Now, is he going to be with the Yankees? I guess only time will tell. They're probably going to offer him a pretty competitive deal, I would imagine, but could he be going to the Mets? It's very possible. But one Soto, as I mentioned before, just 26 years old, a 7.9 war last year, 166 hits, uh, 41 home runs, 288 average, 128 runs scored, 109 RBI, 7 stolen bases, and on base of 419, a 569 slugging, an OPS of 989, almost close to one dotting, and an OPS plus of 178. So arguably one of not, you know, if not the best player in all of baseball. Uh, one Soto has championship experience, a four-time All-Star, uh, had an incredible year this past year, but could he be finding his fourth team in as many years? It's very possible. Now, if you are the New York Mets, as I alluded to, there's been a lot of speculation about Steve Cohen and David Stearns being pretty aggressive this offseason. I would keep an eye on them going after players like Juan Soto uh, for, their, uh, for their batting order, perhaps someone like Corbin Burns for the rotation. That would make a lot of sense, especially that Corbett Burns connection uh, with David Stearns dating back to their time in, in Milwaukee together. But Juan Soto going to uh, the Mets would be an awesome move for the franchise to make. The Mets, of course, had a pretty awesome run this past year um, in the playoffs. They, of course, have players like Lindor coming back, Brandon Nimmo, uh, you know, Francis Alvarez, Jeff McNeil, you name it. If they want to, add, if they want to add a little bit more star power to the group, especially too uh, with the potential departure of Pete Alonso, this could be a nice move for them to make to shore up their, you know, short term as well as their long term by getting this guy maxed out um, on a gigantic contract. So I guess only time will tell. Uh, we'll want so to be staying in the New York City area. Potentially, we'll be switching the pinstripes for. Uh, the blue and the orange. It's potentially uh, possible as well. So if you are a fan of the Yankees or the Mets, leave all your thoughts down below as always. Uh, what do you guys think a New York Mets contract for Juan Soto would actually look like? Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.